Say hi to Phoenix. He's almost a human. Hello, tribe. How are we doing? Got a little dancing going in the kitchen. Hello. Blessings to all of you. Hope you are doing well. How are you? Got a little music going. And I hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to do a... I'm trying to try to make this a short video. <laughs> Something I can't. Oh wow, look at my hair. Look at this. What is this? It's like really Halloween looking. I'm like... My antennas are activated. You know your hair is your antenna, guys, right? Your hair is antennas. They transmit energy. So... And then grow long, don't dye it, and kill it. Let it be natural and wild, however it is. It's beautiful, no matter what. <laughs> so I'm going to show you, a lot of you, how to do, how to juice um, without a processor. Sometimes, you know, you have to have a processor a food processor to juice vegetables and these greens, right? Because you want the pulp out. And if you have a blender only, you can't do that, right? Because the blender is more for smoothies. But I'm going to show you that if you have a blender, I have my blender, my Vitamix. mix. If you have just a blender, and you have this tool. This little tool that is very cheap, just this, that's all you need. And I'll show you, it takes a little bit of work. Just a little bit. You know, the processor, you just throw the fruit there and just like divide the juice and divide the, the pulp. But you have to do a little work, but you don't need. You don't have a processor you want to juice and you just have this and a blender. That is all you need. And I'm going to show you how to do it. This is how I'm doing it because I don't have a bl uh, processor right now. But I have my body mix and I have this. And with your imagination and your effort, you can make it happen. So I'm going to teach you. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi everyone. So, I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. Here's my little station. So, we're going to do a green juice, a delicious green juice with a bunch of greens to cleanse your body and detox your body. Okay, and I'm showing you some of them, what I use that is very healthy. You want to detox and clean your body? You can buy these and juice them. If you're not used to juicing, it's going to make you go to the bathroom right away. It's going to clean your intestines, it's going to clean your filter, your skin, your body. You may start breaking out and that means your body is detoxing, the skin is cleansing. That's why I'm getting some breakouts a little bit because I'm juicing these days now just to clean the body. It's just natural that it happens. It makes you go to the bathroom and you're just going to sit there <laughs> and clean your stomach. Amazing. And then you're going to shed weight. Fat is going to drop. It's amazing. So every once in a while, just every once in a while, you don't have to juice every time. It's good to have a little food, you know, a little carb sometimes. But every once in a while when you feel bloated, you feel like you've been gaining a little weight, you want to clean, do some juicing, green juicing. It's great. Do a three-day green juicing. I'm soon going to be doing a three-day fast. 
And I'm going to document that because it's going to be intense. But we have here my pro my blender. And I'm going to be putting in here some of the stuff that I have. So I have... Look at this beautiful creature living not creature but organism this living organism look it has veins beautiful orange and yellow for the solar plexus and for the sacral chakra look at this green the heart look at this veins look at this Isn't this the most beautiful thing you see? Look at this. How beautiful. This is called a rainbow. This is rainbow chart. Chart or card. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's C-H-A. I always get misconfused because I'm bilingual. Rainbow chart. And it's very cleansing and detoxing. So we're going to take this and... You can just cut this tip only. And you want to put the whole thing. Honestly, you want to put everything in there. So we're going to put that. I washed my hands already, so put it in there. I have some celery stock. And if you have the little leaves, you want to put it with leaves and everything because all the nutrients, the most nutrients are in the leaves. So, celery, very, very cleansy. Stick it in there. Dill. Dill. It's so amazing. You know why I love dill? Because dill is almost minty. If you consume a lot of dill, you're going to smell really good. Your breath is very, it starts freshening you know? up. The sweat, when you sweat, you sweat, it does not smell bad. Your breath starts smelling really good. Dill is really good for odors, okay? That's why I don't eat garlic. And dill is very cleansing and detoxing and it's great for smelling good. If you have a, a odor, some people just have natural odor, like just too strong. My suggestion, stop eating garlic, stop eating um, onions. Red onions are okay, but the rest of the onions, they come out of your pores, out of your mouth. And it makes your odor worse. Do juicing with dill and mint. Dill and meat. I can promise you will see a difference how you start smelling more fresh. Dill is amazing and I eat it like that. Mmm. It freshens your breath. Minty, minty breath. <laughs> so you can throw this. I'm all about, like, I like to smell good. I have a very sharp and strong olfactory system. And that's why I like aromatherapy. And I like to smell good everywhere. <laughs> and these foods help you, okay? What you eat comes out of your pores as well. So don't eat meat. It rots in your stomach. It comes out of your pores rotted. And it makes your breath smells like shit. <laughs> eat vegetables, fresh vegetables like this. You're never going to smell bad. That's why I don't use deodorant. I never use deodorant at all. And my beautiful armpit is always smells good. My friends, the people who are close to me, they know this. I don't ever smell bad. I don't sweat and smell. I don't use any deodorant. It has toxins. I don't use anything. I use sometimes natural oils, aromatherapy, um, essential oils and put it on my armpits. When you eat healthy like this, you don't smell. It doesn't, the, what's coming out of your pores is not, this doesn't smell bad, right? Because these vegetables, this stuff, it's not, it smells amazing. It's green, it smells good, it doesn't stink. So that's what happens in the body, okay? So we have some cilantro. Who doesn't like cilantro, right? Cilantro, I love cilantro. 
I like these things like this. They're so good. I have cilantro, very, very good for the health. And we're gonna throw some cilantro in here. And I have some oregano. You guys know I love oregano. Oregano is oregano is antibacterial. It's antibacterial. This will kill bacteria inside of your body. Okay, virus. You can you can cure. I've heard you can almost cure herpes with essential oils. A therapy with oregano it's amazing so I like to eat it like this too. I'm gonna throw some oregano in here and it comes right out like this look throw it in there this juice is gonna be amazing so throw there Phoenix is already getting prepared for Halloween. He's doing some basil. Basil. Basil is amazing. A little bit of basil, some basil leaves. Mint. Mint. Mmm, mint. If you have stinky breath, guys, Buy some mint, some organic, of course. All these are all organic. And you can chew on them. And eat them. You can put them in your water, your bottle water, and let it mix. This will refresh in your breath. And it's good for you. Mint. Mint leaves. So we throw some mint leaves in there. Okay, and I think that's getting kind of up there for me. And ginger juice. This is organic, okay, look. Organic ginger is so clean thing, so healthy. Ginger juice. Let's pour a little ginger juice in there. You mix it up. If you buy it like this, you can juice it yourself. I don't have the processor. I buy them in the natural stores. But make sure that it's 100% organic and everything, right? Mix it up. Let's put a little ginger juice to the blend. And of course, of course, of course, lemon, limon, <laughs> lima, limon, lemon, you can't miss that one, lemon always, it's very cleansing, this is good for the, cleans the liver, everything, and it's very refreshing too, very refreshing, you can use this as a deodorant, some people do, I don't, because I don't need to, but some people can squeeze and you can put in your armpits, I do this in the morning. Squeeze this and put it all over my face. It detox your face. It's great for the skin. The skin loves, of course, if you put lemon on your skin, do not go out in the sun. So, it will burn you. So, it's just not for the sun. So, I'm going to let's cut half of this lemon. And you know what? I'm going to leave the seed and everything in there. I'm just going to throw the entire thing. Because the peel... 
the peel is <laughs> all the vitamins are in the peel so look what I'm doing I'm not squeezing I'm just gonna throw it in there the whole thing all right and let's see what else So sometimes these juices, I don't put sugar in them. You don't want to put sugar, right? Sugar is terrible. If you want to sweeten anything, sweeten it with honey. Raw, organic, local honey. You have to be local from where you're from. And it helps with, with allergies. And um, don't use sugar. Sugar is bad for you. It's completely bad. Honey, sweeten things with honey. Honey is my favorite thing. Out of If I'm going to sweeten with anything, I use honey. If there's no honey... I would try um, brown sugar, like just, it could be maple brown sugar, make sure it's organic and everything, but I, in these things you don't want to put any, because this is cleansing and detoxing. When you're detoxing yourself and cleansing yourself, you don't want to put sugar, like that's the vice, the whole purpose. So, to make it taste, because sometimes it doesn't taste very good, right? You guys are like, well it tastes nasty sometimes. This is my little secret that I do when I juice. So that it tastes good, I use coconut water. Instead of water, I use coconut water with the juice and it makes it taste so good. The juicing, the juice will actually taste good. So coconut water, of course organic, natural, all these other things, right? It's very, this is the pink one. I know, this is um, harmless coconut water, it's, it's kind of sketchy looking but it's natural, it's pink. From where is this one from? It's pink. Harvested in certified organic San Francisco, it says. But it's no GMOs, no synthetics, no artificial addi additive. No prohibited pesticides, no radiation, so it's good. So the, the coconut water makes your juice, your green juice taste much better than if you do it with just water, okay? So, I mix it really good. going to pour I make extra for myself to put in a bottle and then to drink for myself so I go halfway at least of the vegetables the vegetables are here I put half liquid for now once I start blending it if it needs more liquid then I'll pour more we'll see And of course, I'm going to burn my Palo Santo as always. I always burn my Palo Santo in the kitchen, everywhere I, whatever I do to clear the space, to clean the aura, to clear my vegetables. It just makes me happy. Burning Palo Santo and incense, it makes me happy. It does something to me. I'm very in tune with the elements. And it's a ritual for me, it's a habit. And I like it. This is a really big piece, so it takes forever to burn. But Palo Santo, this is... Palo Santo straight from the Amazon, the jungle of Peru. I bought it there when I went for my trip. Fire element. Fire 
that I have here to consume from my body. I thank you. It's important to give thanks and be grateful, gratitude of before anything. And I, I ask from the bottom of my heart that every human being, every creature in the entire plain earth has something to eat today and every day of their lives. Amen. So, it's important to have gratitude and to pray that others have something to eat too. Very important. And here I start my blend. Fighting mix. Very slowly first, little by little. Maybe it needs more juice. It's blending there. This is a green juice. Let's put more coconut water. Vitamins and it'll warm it up. It's intense. So 
Okay, so we did that. Here's our juice. And now the process. You're going to need... I use something like this. If you have some sort of to collect, I'll show you how, how I do it. I have... Let me do some ASMR. I love just tapping with my nails. I love that. I can't stop using it. So this, right? And this is what I do. I'll show you guys. Sure, my phone doesn't fall there. Alright, so we take our tool here. We put it there, and you're going to grab a spoon, and we're going to start pouring, like this. This is without a processor. You can use it exactly like the processor does with a blender. If you just your imagination and with this spoon you can just start mixing it like this to get the juice to come down and you're going to keep all the all the pulp and the fibers here I'll show you squeeze it until all the juice comes out I'll show you wow, wow. Phoenix is already in the breast see look you're squeezing the juice and now, what? look at this, all the pulp. You can save this, I'll show you what I do with it too. So you can put it somewhere separate, just in a little bowl. Put it. That's the pulp and the fibers of the juice. So right now we're we're juicing with just a blender, right? And using these tools. So if you don't have a processor, there's no excuse. And we continue right here. It's kind of full. So I like to keep these. These are awesome. You can buy these, right? Because they keep the air. These are the best bottles. These are really good glasses. You don't use plastic, please. BPA, right? You don't want BPA in your juices and things. Everything glass. Everything glass. You store in glass. So, the wonderful juice that we squeeze, we just pour it in here. Here, look at this. You go to Whole Foods and to these natural store juices, right? And they, they, they have these, right? For how much? Like $15, $20 for a big one like this, right? That's how much it costs. And look, I just made it. Green juice. Just like you would do in a processor. And look, it's stored in here. And I take this. 
and I put it in the fridge and I have juice for later maybe if I want more so put the filter again and just finish pouring the rest of the juice and do the same thing so you have juice for later maybe for tomorrow morning and I'm going to drink one now and you just have to take the little time to do this it's not so much hard work right the processor does all the work for you but it's like some people can't afford a processor there's or you know they don't have one maybe you just have just a blender right now but you might have this this is so you just do this squeeze it it comes all out Look all the all the pool that I got out of this without a processor. You know what you can do with this? If you have plants, you can mix this with the soil of your plant. Your plants mix this into the soil. Mix it up. This is so nutrient right it's back to the earth right back to earth and your plants you give them so much vitamin and nutrients to your plants so you don't throw this away you can mix it in your plants mix it in your garden okay this is they, they the earth loves this this is it's part of the earth already all the vitamins and the filter it will just suck it all so don't throw this away, mix it with your soil into your plant. And here is my green juice. I wanted to have a clear glass so you can see. Let me see if I have one. No, I don't. Look at this beautiful green juice I just made. Oh, with my blender, naturally. Here's my juice, here's all my medicine for the day. And you can do the same, so, salute! <laughs> salute to my health, to your health. I share this with you so that you take care of your body so that you too have a healthy lifestyle, so you too can cleanse and detox yourself and empower yourself. And we need to share these things. Let's help, let's not be selfish, right? Like the powers that be. Although they're stupid because they don't, they don't, they clean themselves. They know some secrets of life, but they don't really, like they don't know how to take care of their temple, the body. So this is it. Mmm. These juices, they don't taste very good. But I promise if you put cocoa, do it with coconut water. And it's delicious. So, that was all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you all have something healthy to eat or to drink. And that this helped. And I love you all. Remember to check out my Ancient Light page for all my healing services. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Have a beautiful day. And I love you all. Say goodbye to Phoenix.